spooky young adults and the world creep. Today, if you can tell by the title of this video, I am here to introduce you to some of my favorite goth slash post-punk bands that I've really been getting into as of late. So a little backstory. My name is Angelica, or as you guys know me, the darkling jelly bean here on YouTube. I am a goth YouTuber. And I'm going to say I've been still, you know, a baby bat for the past two years. Please let me know if you like this makeup look in the comments down below. I did it very simple today, although it looks a little bit wild. Let's get right into it. Um, I want to say that since I've been a part of the gothic subculture, I've really enjoyed it and I've really kind of found myself. I've always been looking for myself once upon a time I wanted to be called emo, another time just alternative, but then I found my love for black clothing and listened to some goth music and you could say the rest is history. So if you guys aren't interested in a video like this, you can surely click off. I do have numerous other videos all throughout my YouTube channel. They're scattered throughout my channel, you can find them anywhere. Today it's a different video, which by the way, links to everything that I have on besides the dress and the cardigan will be in the description down below as long as they are still available. Also, I will be adding timestamps down below for all of the bands that I'm going to introduce you guys to um, and if I can, I'm going to see if I can record a little clip for you guys for these songs. It may only be a few seconds long, so I apologize for that. Eventually, I know that if my channel ever was to get monetized, that this video would be demonetized. But, I'm okay with that. Just put it out there though, because I may get flagged for copyright claim. But I will just share my favorite bands with you that I have found. Starting off, um, I actually found this band through Simply Spooky. This artist's name is Chris Pohl, P-O-H-L, and he has like a little side project where he makes some music in English. I believe the, per the proper pronouncement of his main band is uh, Blute Angel. Blute Angel. I will, of course, leave it uh, beside me here. So his separate band is called She Hates Emotions. That's a side project. And two songs that I've loved every time I've listened to them. I could literally listen to them on repeat. So the first one is from the self-titled It's a Single album, um, but there is another song on there. This is called Space and Time. Another song that I like is called Ghost Town, and it is from the Melancholic Maniac album. The next band that I've been in love with and technically they are considered more, I guess you would call it post-punk. Feel free to leave a comment down below if I'm wrong about any of the subgenres of these bands, which kind of fits into the gothic category. First song I have by Boy Harsher is Pain, and this is from the Lesser Man album. The next song that I have is called Give Me a Reason, and that is from their The Runner album. This was the first band that I listened to, kind of because it was more along the Christian scene. I'm currently in the process of still finding myself, as I mentioned, so I do believe in Wiccanism. I may eventually convert to 
you guys may hate me for this, but a cursed opagan. Because I have adopted a lot of their beliefs. I'm not truly just a Christian anymore. The, the reason why I found them is because they are a Christian band. That's a Christian band. So their album of Fate and Seven Lessons just clicked with me when I first heard it. And that was my first true enjoyment out of the God scene because they connected with me on a different level. Two songs that I have from that actual album are Happy Birthday, Dark Star. The next band that I found, their one album called Modern Colts really clicks with me. And two songs from there I have both from this album. The first one is Affection. This band was one that I mentioned, and I believe it was my very last video. It's Drag Majesty. Now, some people don't really necessarily consider it goth, just consider it to be more post-punk. But I'm still in love with this album that they have, the demonstration, and two songs from there that I can basically, you know, repeat the lyrics. First one is Dot in the Sky. Those two songs really resonate with me. I don't know exactly what it is about them, but I, I just, I love the beat. I love the meaning behind the lyrics and, you know, take it from there. If you guys are curious, go and listen to these bands. If you're looking for new bands to listen to, or if you were curious about these bands and now you want to give them a try, by all means. Now this is a newer band and I'm not technically sure if it's really considered gothic. This band is called Amulet. The two that I really resonate with are Last Ditch. Valentine's Day. So, the last band that I have, two different albums. I keep wanting to call it Solar Flake, it's actually Solar Fake. And this is by the artist uh, Sven Friedrich. He's known for, if you guys are familiar with the name, Dreadful Shadows and Zerfi. So I had listened to him a while back when I found this other artist, Ruined Conflict. They were in classified in the same category, Solar Fake and um, Ruined Conflict. 
Um, but Solar Fake, I feel, is more of the gothic electronic sound. First album was another Manic episode, and the song that really resonates with me from there is Not What I Wanted. The one from Enter Dystopia is This Pretty Life. you guys end up checking out the song This Pretty Life by Solar Fake, go and check out the music video. It's freaking hysterical. All in all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably more of a longer one. This outfit was kind of inspired by my musical tastes as of late for whatever reason. First of all, I have my new rock Neptune boots. Of course, because it is colder, I have on my H&M black tights. This is a black uh, polyester linen blend with mesh sleeves. I have on a short sleeve dress. This is what this looks like. And then of course, I have on my Kill Star belt. And then I have on my Moonchild necklace, of course, from Kill Star Choker. I was inspired to get from Simply Spooky. Um, so I got this from Amazon. My plugs, just something simple. They're the Amazon Spiderweb plugs. My makeup from the Morphe palette. Again, I will leave all the stuff in the description down below, by the way. Again, I'm wearing the Kylie Cosmetics matte like little lipstick. I don't know how I feel about it. Things. These are just miscellaneous Spencers, Spencers. Um, I believe I got that off of a ring pack from Amazon a while back. Same pack, Amazon. Amazon Wish. I don't support I don't support Wish anymore. And I believe this was from the same pack as the other rings. Hat kill stuff. Hopefully you guys do go and check out these bands if you're interested in the gothic slash punk music genre or solo projects like She Hates Emotions and Solar Fate to let them know to please continue to make music like this because we do enjoy it. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for any goth bands or post-punk bands, leave them in the comments down below and I will surely check them out. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you wish to do so. Keep on rocking. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Thank you if you've made it this long.